I'm here today because I want to do a little something fun with one of my nails. So I'm going to show you, I'll put, lay out here all the products I have that I'm going to be using today. 95% um, of the products are going to be Ugly Duckling. Um, and the other little things I have are just randoms and I'll show you. Um, I am going to try to encase some flowers in my ring finger nail. I'm trying to encase some pretty flowers into that and do something fun. I'm going to be using my portable drill, my real flowers from Amazon. Um, I'm going to be using my base and top coat from Ugly Duckling. Also my brush cleaner, my gel cleanser, um, and some of the trial kit for Ugly Duckling. Um, the gel trial kit. I'm also going to be using my Ugly Dunkling files and brushes. Um, and then my drill bits are over here. I do not have a gel brush for them yet, so I'm going to use my gel brush number four from Crystal Nails. So um, that's what I'm going to use. And plus, I'm going to get some sparkles out from my container and just sparkle them on to get some sparkles on there as well to be really pretty. Uh, so I'll show you my um, sparkle container that I've showed you before that I showcased. I also have some scissors here to cut my flowers off and some tweezers to be able to place them on my nails correctly. And these are just random from Sally's. So I'm going to place all this over here because I need to file the gel polish off this nail. And I don't want to get all the dust on my products and my tools. Uh, as you can see, I rearranged my office a little bit, or as we would say, the salon. I rearranged it a little bit to um, have it a little bit neater and nicer. And so that is a blessing for me. I'm going to use my drill bit, the non-cut one, to remove the gel polish real quick. I don't have anything prepped and ready because with gels, when you're using gels, there's not really much you can prep. It's just kind of like get it and gone. So I'm going to remove some of the gel polish on the top here. Underneath, I originally did this nail with a clear coat. And I do not want to come down on that. So I'm ever so lightly going to remove the gel polish. And not a lot of the stuff you can see here. I'm going to try to make it to where you can see what I'm doing. Um, but it's not going to really be too up close. Just kind of a distance view, and I'm going to reveal what they look like. Again, I'm using my portable drill for this today. I'm just in love with this drill. It's so easy, simple. Mind you, I have not um, charged it since the last time I used it because it's held a charge. I haven't used it much since I did these nails last week. So I have not yet had to charge it. Now, because I'm encasing these flowers with a gel, um, a builder gel, I'm going to have to probably do some smoothing um, of the edges and some buffing. And that's why I have my files out. Because when you have an acrylic base that you're going to come in with a gel builder on top to do something, you might get some um, bumps that won't, the nail won't be as smooth as it originally was, so, you know, you need to buff that out and stuff, and make it really smooth. It's making this noise because I'm trying to get the gel polish off the tip here. I don't want to make my nails too thin, but I also don't want them to be too thick because I'm encasing the flowers with a gel builder. So... I'm taking that in consideration when I'm taking the polish off. I'm going down a little bit on the um, 
acrylic that I already have on here. Huh? My 4th of July? Yeah, you can do 4th of July colors for the trailers. Hmm. I don't think I have. I do have red, white, and a light blue, so maybe I'll do that. Alright, so I have a lot of the polish off here. And like I said, I want it to be clear. So I'll bring that to the side. And I do not have my brush out today, but that's fine. Alright, come out with a little bit of shaping. After a couple days, they come out of shape, so you want to come in and shape that a little bit. I do actually need a manual prep for this. Get some primer. I'm going to use a course here on my buffing. And then close to the cuticle and get all that fun stuff. That well, looks pretty good. Alright, put those to the side. I want to clean off the dust because I don't want any of my products. So what I'm thinking about doing, and here's the clear now. Okay, and here's the pinks. What I'm thinking about doing here is I think I'm going to use the top coat and base to lay in my flowers. Um, I think I'm gonna do that just to lay them in. I'll pull some of these flowers out here. Hey girl. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put these down for blue. You just want to cut some of the little petals off here. That's pretty. Have some of the petals flying into the, or being into the nail is going to be really pretty. Okay, so we've got some here. And then I'm going to have my red and white. All right. Oh. oh. Um, I also want to pick a glitter and put this to the side because we don't need that right now. Pick a glitter. I might pick a, like a sparkle glitter from my casing here. Oh, I messed that up. Um, I think I'll go in with this, this glitter here. I think I'll use this one, the secondary one. I think that's the one I'm going to use. So, like I said, this craft mate is super helpful when I'm doing things like this. Literally, I'm just popping it out and putting what I need on the table. All right, let me get my tweezers. I also want to get my glitter brush. Shake this a little bit. All right. So, here we go. Put this on the nail here. Smooth application. This is the top coat and base again. I want to have something to be able to have these um, nails or these flowers stick to. So that'll be really nice. I don't want to put too much here because, like I said, I don't want my nail to get too thick. Oh, it's a beautiful clear, I might say, though. Okay, so I'm going to come in with my flowers. And I want to get a flat one. Very flat. Try to get them to hold. You know what? Let me see that camera. I'll be able to show them what I'm doing here. Let's see if I can get this camera over to you guys. Okay. 
Yeah, you can hold it on the nail. I want to try to flatten all the edges in this flower because you don't want it to pop up. So that's going to be my red one. I'll put a little white one up here. Now this one's already pretty up, so I don't know if I'll be able to use that. It's not as flat as I'd like it to be. Let's see if we can use this one. It's got a bit of a um, it's got a bit of a butt on the flower here not like a it's just a bit of a thickness I really want to um, you gotta try to show the nail I really want to get this to sit flat tell you the truth I don't know if I'm gonna get it to sit let me try something here don't really want to encase these flowers yet, but I feel like if we put a little weight on them, they might sit. That might help us. So I'm gonna put a little weight here on them, which is helping. Putting a little bit of a top coat and base over top of it seems to be helping with holding them down, which is good. Okay, and I'm just going to press this one in, then I'm going to come in with my little flowers here, put them around. It's kind of like a 4th of July theme. Stick them around a little bit here and there. This one. All right. Try to separate them a little bit on my nail. Do a little, little one down here, and maybe a, a little one over here. Okay. Now I'm gonna stick this in the light real quick. I want them to harden to the nail and I don't want them to be lifting. Oh, and I'm taking a flower butt with me. Shoot. I want to take that with me. Actually, I said I'm going to sit it in the light, but I can't do that just yet, and here's why. And this is what it looks like. The flowers, very beautiful. These are kind of, these glitters are a little bright, so what I want to do is just ever so lightly dab them on. Ever so lightly. Let me see if I can get my nail in here. Oh, that's a nice touch. Gotta love those sparkles, everyone. All right. Don't want to overdo it too much. I do, however, want to get down here. I'm gonna use this to push this down. Okay. A little bit over here. There we go. Let me see if you can see this. No, you can't. For some reason my camera is skipping today. It doesn't want to focus. All right, we'll bring it down here. There you go. Make sure I have everything covered. I'm gonna stick that in there. Well, don't get my arm, it looks horrible. And then I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna try to encase it in with a clear gel builder. So that will be fun, I think.
I don't know what the set time is on this top coat and here you can lay it down on the white thing right there if you need to. Okay, no, no, not facing me. That's a horrible look. Just lay it on the table for a second. That's great. That'd be great. Yeah, just scoot it all over. Watch the flowers are open. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, that's a bit hard, which is, it's fine because, um, or it's a bit sticky, excuse me, which is fine because what I want to do, oh my gosh, some things up close are not cute, okay, I'm going to come in a little bit like this, there's some white and blues. Now let me get out, I don't even think I haven't opened this for you guys, I think I did, but I didn't um, open any of this stuff. So. There's my door lock? Is that TV? Well, if he, doesn't, if he doesn't have a diaper on, he can't come in the camera view. Put my flowers here to the side because I don't want to lose them. You making a tutorial? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's white. I meant to get clear. I don't know why I grabbed the white. Clear UV only. All right, so this is a UV lamp. So we'll use clear UV only. This is what it looks like. All right. You can put it on the paper towel so it's higher. That's fine. I'm just going to do it right here in front of them. All right. Let me get my brush. And I want to get a cleanser on my brush really quickly because for some reason this side's not stained. Really quickly because I want to make sure it's... I'll figure it out. I want to make sure it's clean. What does that say on it? Brush cleaner. Okay. And a lot of things you can't see me doing right now, which is fine. It's just, um, I'm just cleaning my brush right now because it has some stuff on it from before I noticed that didn't come off when I cleaned it before. So I just want to get it cleaned, sanitized. I like to clean all my stuff after I use them. Sometimes though, stuff does not want to come off. Okay, and then I want to get this stuff completely off the brush. All right, put that there. Now, that's fine. Camera view right there is fine. All right, hopefully my nail will focus. Right. I'm encasing this. Hoping none of the flowers want to move. That's why I decided to use my top coat um, in base. Because I wanted to make sure that they didn't move when I came into this part. Because I've done this before and I've just used the builder gel and my products have moved and it has been very frustrating and I don't I don't want to do do that I want to do it the right way mind you this may not the way I'm doing it may not be the right way and that's okay everybody has a different technique all right Make sure it's not too thick. It's not too thick, but I want to get some more over here on this side. So I'm going to come in. This is the first time I'm using Ugly Ducklings uh, gel builders. So this is definitely a learning process for me as well. I'm, you know, I'm showing you guys how they work. Now, I do not know how long to keep it in here. Uh, every company's products is different in the way they're requesting you to use them. Um, I have not looked it up, so I'm going to try for two minutes and see if that will work for us today. I want to make sure I got everything evenly and it's encased. 
Looks like it's encased because when I go to buff it, one, I don't want it too thick, but when I go to buff this out, I don't want to buff so much that I'm losing my shape or I'm losing my flowers underneath. Oh. Looks like I have this a little bit thick, which is fine. What? Why are they asking me about that now when I'm doing this? Okay, I'm gonna stick it in the lamp. I'm gonna go for two minutes. Hopefully that will be enough time. And in this trial kit <clears throat> for their um, gel builders, you get pink, fufu pink, clear white, and a clear UV. The clear UV only is what I'm using today because this is a clear, um, or this is a UV lamp. Cynthia, can you hear my top coat over there by Ugly Duckling? It'll say it's got a diamond on the top where all my Ugly Duckling supplies is. Okay, Ugly Duckling is on the second shelf. It's got a diamond on top. Over, over. That one should have a diamond on the top of it. Does it? Okay, that's the top coat. I'm going to put a top coat on, of course. Now, this time I'll go off when it's done, but it's set for two minutes, so. I'm not going to use my drill when I am buffing my nail out. I'm going to use a very light buffer from Ugly Duckling. I do not want to take off the uh, gel builder and I do not want to get into my flowers. So I'm going to be very careful with this. Um, where's my gel plunger? Okay, it's over there. Alright, you can put that light this is the next product I'll be using, the gel cleanser to wipe off any excess sticky stuff. You can put the um, thing back on the screen because all they're going to see next is what I'm using. But don't touch the screen because it's, see how we minimize the screen? How do I put it back on here? Open it up, open the butter bit up. No, underneath. No, no, not like that. Maybe two. Yeah. All right. That states that we've done it for two minutes. Now I'm gonna come in here. Yeah, that's perfect. Right there is perfect. I want to. Oh, geez. I want to. Yep. Yeah, this is why I want to do that. I want to cap my um, clear UV gel. And just, let me go ahead and uh, clean my brush real quick. I'll get that cleaned off before we move on. Yes, I just want to cap some of my products here and then I'm going to put these flowers away real quick because Although it takes time in the video, if I don't do this right away, um, you could lose some of your products forgetting or you can knock them off the table and you don't want to do that. So I'm going to put this in here and then put my flowers to the side. Okay, I also want to, all right, two minutes was proper timing. It's hardened, so I'm going to come in here with my cleanser. And this is a gel cleanse. So I'm going to put this on my rag here, paper towel, a little bit. And then I'm going to wipe this stuff off. This is gel polish. It, yeah, it says gel polish. All right, that is smooth. Now I'm going to have to do some filing very carefully because, go ahead and put it down, because it's, the gel has made the nail a little bit out of form that I like, but that's fine. Just come in here with file, shape it up. And I'm using Ugly Duckling. 
this ugly duckling? Yeah, this is ugly duckling. I just used the heck out of this one. But I want to be careful, like I said, because I don't want to get into my flowers. I don't want to lose them. So I'm just going to come in here and shape the nail up. And do a little buffering, just a, ever so slightly buffering. Like I said, again, I don't want to take. So I'm going to go in with, I want to do a fine. I think I'm going to do a medium coarse. I just want to come in and buff it up a little bit. Be careful, I don't want to take my flowers, but I also want to maintain the shape of my nail. And I'm using a light buff. I'm not going too crazy. Now I can see my flower here, so I'm going to stop on that side. Come around the edges. I want to get the area near my um, cuticle, right? All right, so looks very nice here. Are you coming? No, I see that. Just gonna wipe it off. All right, pull that stuff off there. Then I'm gonna come in with my top coat. Which, oh yeah, I'm going to need that because I buffed. All right, we're using the top coat, non-white, for the first time. So let's see how this bad boy performs for us. It's beautiful clear. Showing all my hard work in there. Again, I'm trying to put a light coat on here because I don't want my nail to end up too thick. All right. Now, I don't know if I need to UV light this, but we're going to do it. Set it for two minutes. Probably doesn't need all that time, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to use my Mia Secret um, Natural Cuticle Treatment only because it smells super beautiful. There's cute little flowers inside, and I have not ordered a cuticle oil from Ugly Duckling yet, so I need to do that on my next order. I'm not sure if they have one on the site. Um, I'm going to check and make sure if they do, I'm going to order that because I want to use all the same products. Um, I eventually want to order the large gel kit that they gel builder kit they have but for right now I think I'll order just their gel builder brush because my next buy for them is the huge pro kit um, so I'm going to do one at a time I'm going to get the huge pro kit this in July and then in August I'll probably get the large gel kit but I do want to get their gel brush um, so I can have all products matching now I set this in here for two minutes not sticky or anything, but I think I'll set it in for a couple more seconds. And then I'm going to reveal my nail to you. Turn that off, get some Mia Secret cuticle oil, and then I will reveal my nail to you. I'd like to get this at 30 minutes exactly. And of course, I'll take a picture and put it on my Instagram. All right, so there you go. It's not showing up. This camera can be so fidgety at times. Hold on, don't move it. It's not showing up. So frustrating. So you can see it back here a little bit. I 
I need a better camera. I thought this one was decent, but it's not. There we go. You can see the red flowers, the white flowers, the blue flower petals, and the sparkles I've got going on. It's shaped really well. Um, I did not have, as you can see, I did not have to do too much shaping or buffing. Um, I would say this is an amazing gel, gel builder. I do adore it. Now, it's not thick at all. The sides are real thin. The front's real thin. It looks really good. Um, I'm definitely super pleased with it, so I'm going to, in August, I'll probably order the big kit because I want to have it on hand. Um, again, I'm going to show you the products I use today. I use the Ugly Duckling Trial Gel Builder Kit. It came with all these products. Um, I use some silver glitter for my glitter combination that I have. I used a Crystal Nail uh, number 4. Let's see, a number four gel brush. I also used some random little brush to put the glitters on. I used a top coat, base and top coat um, combination to lay the flowers on top of, to hold on to. Um, once I built my gel up with the builder gel, my top coat was from Ugly Duckling, which I'm super pleased with. Used the little scissors um, to cut my flowers and then little tweezers to place them. I used the gel cleanser from Ugly Duckling to or wipe the gel off so to be smooth and non-sticky. I also used the brush cleanser to clean my brushes from Ugly Duckling. And today I used I used a medium core or a medium buffer, and I can't even tell you what the number was on this. I think it was a hundred grid, if I'm certain. Um, I also use my flowers from Amazon that I got, and for my cuticle oil, I use Mia Secret. So, I would say 95% of today was used by Ugly Duckling. Again, I'm super happy, super in love. I would. Oh, one more thing. And I use my portable drill here on the side um, to take my gel polish off. Again, I'm super happy with Ugly Duckling. I love their products. Um, Everything they have is just tip-top from what I've been able to use so far. And um, if you guys have a chance, I would definitely try out the trial kit, kit for the gel builder. It's superb. I love it. Easy, quick. Although, again, this video is a little bit long because I wanted to go into detail what I was doing, what I was using, and how I was doing it. So if you're doing it by yourself, it this kit wouldn't take too long to use at all. Um, Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, please comment below. I love reading comments. I need to get into the uh, polish building kit that I ordered, which is not Ugly Duckling. It's um, TKB, I think. And uh, I need to show you guys that. But thank you so much for watching my videos. Subscribe if you want. And uh, love you guys. Have an awesome day. No, he's got to get out of the camera. He's not dressed. He's got to get out of the camera. Mommy. <coughs>